so glad that you chose to worship with me today. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Father Matthew Burdett, and I am the priest at St. Thomas's Church. To get ready for our worship, why don't you find a comfortable seat? And as I get ready, I'm going to be putting on my green stole. Since green is the color that we wear in the church's ordinary seasons, and since this time of year between Christmas and before Lent is called ordinary time, we wear green. Our gathering song for the season of Epiphany is called Rise and Shine, just like the star that the wise men followed to find the baby Jesus. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. Try it again with me. Here we go. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. Now that we're all ready to worship, let's begin as we always do, saying, Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be his kingdom now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, you know our hearts, you know what we want, you know all our secrets. Let your Holy Spirit live in us so that we may love you and worship you as you want us to, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we sing our Gloria. The words are on the screen, so follow along. Glory be to God on high, and peace on earth from heaven. And God's great love will always be to all his people given. We bless, we worship you, we raise for your great glory, thanks and praise. O God, Almighty Father. When I say, the Lord be with you, you respond, and also with you, okay? The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Loving God, help us to do those things that you want us to so that we may enjoy this life that you've given us in Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. During this time, we have been thinking about one of Jesus' parables about the kingdom of God. In one of the books of the Bible called the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus says that the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field which someone found and hid. And then in his joy, he goes and he sells all that he has and he buys that field. The kingdom of heaven is like hidden treasure. Today I have a story about hidden treasure. I have a difficult story to share with you. At church, we often celebrate uh, and feel joy because of God's love for us and our love for one another. But church is also a place where we talk to each other about the things that make us feel pain or sadness or anger. Um, all of the feelings that we have, joy, thankfulness, excitement, and also sadness, hurt, and anger or frustration, these are all feelings that God gave to us so that we would feel safe and healthy. And sometimes in life, we do feel sad or hurt or angry, and it's important for you to know that you're allowed to feel all those different feelings and that God knows that you have these feelings and that he wants you to tell him when you feel this way. Church is a place where we can be ourselves when we're happy and we can be ourselves when we're sad or upset. God loves us. He wants to be involved with every part of our lives, even those parts that make us feel bad. In fact, sometimes those parts of our lives that we feel bad are the times when God feels closest to us when we're sad or we're hurt. So the story I want to tell you today is a story about someone who felt hurt and angry and how God was close to that person 
and how God helped him make the world and the church a better place. So a long time ago, here in Philadelphia, there was a man named Absalom Jones. And Absalom Jones lived during a time when people who had dark skin, like me, were treated badly by people with light skin. People treated people differently based on how they looked, which sometimes still happens today. Sometimes today, uh, people are mean to someone because they look different or they sound different or they don't have the same ability to do things that most people have the ability to do, and it's not fair. And when Absalom Jones was alive, some of the people with lighter skin uh, made people with darker skin work for them. And the people with dark skin were not allowed to go where they wanted to go or live the lives that they wanted to live. And if they didn't do what they were told, they would get into a lot of trouble and sometimes someone would hurt them. And Absalom Jones was a person with dark skin. And he was one of those people who was made to do work for people with lighter skin, even though he didn't want to. Um, Absalom Jones was also a Christian. He believed that Jesus loves every person with the same exact love and that Jesus wants every person to love every other person and to respect every other person. Absalom Jones believed that Jesus wanted every person to be free. He also believed so strongly in Jesus' love that he, he kept bothering the lighter-skinned people who treated him badly to let him be free. And finally, one day, they did set him free. And so Absalom Jones started working in a church, just like, just like I do. Um, and he would tell people about Jesus' love and about what Jesus wanted for us. But then one day, in this church where Absalom Jones was worshiping, the people with lighter skin decided that they didn't want to sit next to the people with darker skin. And worse than that, they didn't want to have Holy Communion. They didn't want to have Jesus' special meal with people with darker skin. And the people with dark skin were hurt and they were angry. Uh, treating people differently because of how they look is not what Jesus taught. Uh, but some of the people who believed in Jesus were not listening to Jesus. It was, it was painful. It was sad. And so Absalom Jones had to make a decision. He had to make a choice. And sometimes being a follower of Jesus is hard, and it was hard this time. Absalom Jones had to decide if he and the other people with dark skin should let people treat them badly, or if they should go somewhere else so that they could worship Jesus and live the way that Jesus wanted them to. They loved the people who had lighter skin, even though the lighter skin people were treating them badly. Um, and so in the end, Absalom Jones decided that the best way to love the people with lighter skin was for the darker skin people to go have their own church so that they could show everyone how to practice Jesus's love. And the love that Jesus teaches us is not always easy. Jesus teaches us to love people who are not easy to love. Um, even people who are mean to us, Jesus says to love them. And so what Absalom Jones understood is that sometimes the best way to love people is to tell them that they need to stop treating people badly. So Absalom Jones and his friends started a new church. And this church welcomed everyone, no matter what they looked like. And he and his friends, they were still hurt and angry, but they decided to trust in Jesus' love. And you know what? The church that Absalom Jones started still exists today. Every week, people there worship Jesus and they practice his love. And because of what Absalom Jones did, a lot of people learned to treat people better with Jesus' love. People today are still learning to trust his love. And you know what? When we're hurt or sad or angry, we can remember that Jesus' love is strong. It's stronger than the things that hurt us or make us sad or make us angry. You and I can remember the story of Absalom Jones, Jesus' hidden treasure. Amen. I believe in God above, I believe in Jesus' love, I believe the Spirit who helps me to be kind and true. I believe that I can be kind and loving, Lord, like Thee. Now that we've sung what we believe, let us give thanks to God for his gifts and ask God for what we need. God, we thank you for giving us the gift of your son, Jesus, the hidden treasure who makes the poor rich because he is with them. 
we thank you for your love, for taking care of us, for giving us all that we need for our families and our friends, our teachers and our church. Lord, we pray for the whole world, especially those who are poor, who are sick. We ask you to care for them and to bring peace to everyone. We pray for our country, asking you to teach us to be truthful and kind and to treat everyone fairly. Lord, we pray for our community here, asking you to care for all who are in need or who are alone or who are in any trouble. We pray for our families and our friends that you will protect us and keep us safe. Help us always to remember your love. We pray for those that we love but we don't see anymore, and we ask you to care for them until we see them again. And we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now that we have prayed to God, let us ask God to forgive us for those times that we have done something wrong. For the times that we have acted selfishly, forgive us, God. For the times that we have been slow to forgive, forgive us, God. For the times that we have not remembered your love for us, forgive us, God. Because you are sorry for your sins, God promises to forgive you and make you new. And so I say to you, Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. And now let us pray in the words that our Lord Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. My friends, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Our closing song has some motions as well. Uh, it's called Jesus in the Morning, and we make the sun come up for morning, and for noontime, we hold it right there because the sun is high in the sky at noon, and then for when the sun goes down, we bring it back down. So the first verse is Jesus in the morning, in the noontime, and when the sun goes down, and the second verse says love him, it's love God and love Jesus, and we do love like this. So I'm going to sing it and you join in. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. Love him, love him. Love him in the morning, love him in the noontime. Love him, love him, love him when the sun goes down. Let's do Jesus again. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime. Jesus, 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 when the sun goes down. 